Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. Welcome back to another Jewelry Thrifting in Canada video. Uh, the first item that I'd like to show you is a child size Damascene um, pendant and chain. Uh, this I won in an auction from my local um, Mission Thrift Store. It's not uh, marked uh, precious metal. The uh, pendant itself is uh, marked on the back uh, Anita. It's in teeny, tiny letters here. Um, and I haven't uh, looked up what that means, but I thought this would be a, a lovely um, necklace to put away uh, for uh, my granddaughter. Or I could put on a longer chain and I could wear it. You know, there, there's always that. I love I have a nice collection of wearable damascene jewelry. Another item that I'm very proud to have found is this pansy um, brooch. And this is a boucher pin. Um, it says pansy here. And it says boucher here. And above it is the um, identification number. So beautifully constructed, um, very wearable, lovely figural pin. My first uh, boucher piece found in the wild. Then I have a slightly different pin, um, gold tone with uh, textured uh, sort of matte, matte striking uh, along uh, the inside of the leaves. And this is a Bond Boyd pin and it's marked right here. It's Bon Boyd and then there's a number underneath, sorry, a couple of letters. I think it says gold filled underneath. It's very, it's teeny tiny. Um, you probably can't see it, um, but it would be typical of Bon Boyd pieces to be gold filled. So um, that's consistent with how they're made. Lots of gold tone here today. Um, then there's this amazing um, sculptural matte and shiny gold tone uh, brooch and this is I uh, have to sorry I had to squint for a second if I were undo the pin you might be able to see it better right here it's marked Trafari so again a very good quality um, pin I just love the way it feels it's just feels wonderful. Uh, a bright, uh, shiny, uh, much more golden yellow color tone. Um, this is a Monet brooch. And by the script, it would be, you know, 80s to 90s. Beautiful swirl. You can wear it up. You can wear it down. You can wear it sideways. So beautiful pin. And yeah, uh, even though I've been concentrating on Sarah Coventry and Coro and Emmons and Seagull, if I find, you know, Trafari, Boucher, Monet, I'm not going to um, leave them behind, I don't think, unless, you know, it, it has to be something that appeals to me in terms of the design. And I found this uh, cute little uh, turtle, and he's actually a Jerry's pin. Um, Copyright Jerry's. It's uh, difficult to see down here on the back leg. And I picked him up just because he's cute and my daughter really likes turtles and I like turtles too. Um, and I don't often find Jerry's pins uh, here in Ontario when I'm thrifting. Another gold tone pin in this grouping. Um, if you can see on the back here in the center, I'm not sure. There you go. See, it says Monet. Lovely little, um, lovely little angel with lots of rhinestones. So this will go with my uh, Christmas collection of angels that uh, I wear on my Christmas vest. Um, and it, I, I was surprised that it was a Monet. Next in this group, another gold tone pin. This one is an angel not marked um, but it's a lovely design uh, very wearable in excellent condition no makers marks I would say modern 
totally modern, but uh, it'll go with my Monet Angel. Um, and then the last two pieces I are not brooches. I'd like to include here. And of course, I tend to get them all tangled up. Um, these are Dorlin necklaces. So Dorlin uh, manufactured here in Canada, um, available for sale in Canada. I don't know if it was in, for sale in the States or not. Um, this necklace is um, probably 36 or inches or longer. Um, beautiful gold tone. Um, that sort of swirled links that are slightly flattened and there's the very small um, Dorlin tag. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. Twist it the right way maybe. But there's the Dorlin tag. And at the same thrift store I was able to pick up this silver tone station necklace. Just a uh, a curb chain with these stations, sort of stylized filigree, not, not really filigree, they're not light enough, but there's groups of three, and then one, three, and one. Uh, and again, this is a very long uh, chain. Beautiful, I've worn it already, it's just so comfortable. And it has the same kind of little Dorlin tag here, um, hanging off the side here. So there's the Dorlin tag. So it was unusual for me to find um, two Dorlin pieces in the same day in the same store, um, and the price was uh, was uh, quite reasonable. These I actually got at my uh, local Goodwill. And most of the jewelry is now three dollars and ninety-nine cents, uh, unless it's in a jewelry jar. So um, a few of these pieces came from there: the two Dorlin, um, the Bon Boyd, the I'm not sure about the Boucher, the Jafari. Anyway, so this is a fairly short video, um, but uh, these are some of my recent finds. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment, um, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.